Welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to create a wholesale store and <clears throat> some of the benefits of having a business to business uh, store is you can have customized pricing based on users who log in. And sometimes that's nice to offer, uh, whether it be business to business or maybe you just have a consumer that you want to have uh, and give them special pricing. And so let's take a look at how this system works in EasyCart. Uh, you'll see here I just have our demo products installed. Uh, most of these products already have uh, a list price and then this is the actual price uh, of the item right now. So if we take a look for example at this uh, spotted t-shirt. Okay, the spotted shirt is $45.95. So let's jump over here to our admin area and I'm going to go to products and I'm going to find that spotted shirt and you can see it's $45.95 so let's take a look and edit that product okay so the current price right now is $45.95 uh, as I mentioned and we do have under the pricing options the ability to have a previous price uh, but we also give you uh, several options underneath here for example volume pricing which allows you to have um, you know volume groupings for example you might have a price if they buy five or more um, they get instead of $45.95 they get it for $35.95 but what we're gonna take a look at today is this section which is our business to business pricing and this allows you to set up different tiers of users uh, maybe you have a wholesale one level and a wholesale two level. Uh, you can actually set up multiple pricings on your products. Now it's important to understand your 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 entire store is the same store. So business to business users, wholesale users, everybody shops at the same store. What you're going to do is just alter the pricing based on who is logged in. So for example, uh, you can see here there is no user groups uh, set up. So the first thing we want to do is start to create our different groups. And I'm going to go over here to our users. And I've got several different users here in my system. Now the security level right now for one of them is an admin. That means they can log in to the, the admin uh, with our external apps or uh, control uh, certain aspects of the store. Everybody who shops on your store is going to be the default shopper security level. And what we want to do is create a wholesale account. So I've, I'm going to make Mike here uh, a wholesaler and this Michelle is going to be just a regular shopper. So what we do is we create a user role and over here on the left you'll see user roles and you can see we have admin and shopper these are the two default ones and you need to leave those but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one and I'll just call it wholesale group or wholesale tier one or whoever uh, whatever you want to name it okay now that we have that let's go back to our user accounts and what we do is we open up any account they're just regular accounts but what we want to do is we want to set their user level to wholesale okay and we can save that now while you're in here you could let me go back into Mike here for example you could go through and exclude this person from tax or exclude them from shipping um, you can do a lot of different things with the user account if you want to uh, we could even leave notes here uh, this is a wholesale account uh, you know in case we need notes to come back on uh, at a later time and you can see this is now a wholesale account and what's going to happen is when Mike logs in he can go to the account page and log in we want to see unique pricing for him okay and so I'm going to come up here to accounts 
to sign out. I'm not sure who I'm signed in here as, but I'm going to sign in as Mike. sign in here and if I go back to the store now Mike doesn't have any special pricing okay maybe I want Mike to see this shirt at $35.95 he's a wholesaler he gets it at a special price so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to any products that we want him to see maybe this spotted shirt and instead of the $45.95 we're gonna to go to pricing and we're gonna to go to business to business and I'm gonna say okay for wholesalers I want them to see it at $35.99 okay and if we go back to the store you'll now see that Mike is logged in and he sees $35.99 for the price of this item so he's getting special wholesale pricing just based on his login. If you have other products and they don't have wholesale pricing or special pricing attached, they just see them as regular products. So that might be beneficial. That might not be the way you want to see it um, or group products. Uh, but typically you'd go through now on every product and you would set up wholesale pricing for for your items uh, some users have commented and said well I'd, I want to have a special store just for wholesalers with special products just for them and so we can take a look at doing that um, that doesn't really have to do anything with the pricing again these are just regular products we set up a user role and we give it a special pricing for that what you're talking about now is setting up categories so I'm gonna jump over to categories and categories just let you group products and what I'm gonna do is just simply make a group for wholesale products I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna go ahead and edit the products in this list okay we've got some in here I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all these products and I'm gonna add just our spotted shirt that's the only product I have at this point so I'm gonna add that to this category okay so now I've got my regular store and I could even create another category if I wanted to uh, for regular store products okay. so I've got this group and what we want to do is take the spotted shirt off of the regular store let's say and put it just in our wholesale group uh, and that's okay to do you could you can set this up this is really just about organizing products at this point so I'm gonna jump over here to my products real quick in my spotted shirt I'm just going to edit and I'm going to go to basic settings and I'm going to take it off the main store. Okay, so now these are just my regular products. I'm going to put a new category up here on the main menu for wholesale products or wholesale store or, or whatever. Again, I like to go into uh, WordPress menus to use this. Uh, you can see I have a menu set up for my website using WordPress menus and I'm going to use the store items. Okay, And if you don't have store items, again I've showed this on other videos, uh, it might be up here in your screen eye options. This just turns off certain areas in WordPress. It's kind of a quirky thing but sometimes it's not even there and people are confused. Why are why don't I have store items and so what I'm gonna do this shows you every product and category um, in easy card it will show up under store items and so you can see I have my uh, spotted shirt in here 
as a product, but I also have this category, my wholesale products, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and add to my main menu. So now I've got a, a regular store. I'm going to call this my wholesale store. Again, this is just organization. This really doesn't have anything to do with uh, setting up business to business pricing. But you can see we have a regular store here. And now if I click over here, I've got a wholesale store. Um, you know, how, how you do this is entirely up to you. Uh, you know, how you collect or create your accounts is entirely up to you. You might even go out and use a WordPress form that lets you collect, you know, wholesale signups. And maybe the users have to go through a form and, and sign up. You get an email, you create their account, you approve their wholesale account, you set it up in your easy cart system, and then you send them credentials and say, hey, come here to your account. You can give them this URL, which is just your account page, and you can say, go ahead and sign in, um, and they can sign in, and, and you've already uh, approved them. So how you do that process kind of deals more with the workflow of your business. Whether or not you want a separate section like this or you want a uh, just a regular store and then have business to business pricing on that is entirely up to you. Um, so there's a lot of different variables you can do but that's how you simply create a product in EasyCart. Uh, again you just create your user roles under users maybe a wholesale group and then you open up accounts and you attach them to that security level and at your product level all you do is you go to your pricing and you can give your pricing special levels based on what that user's logged in as if they if they have a level then they'll see it if they don't they'll see the regular pricing on those items or you can break them out into separate groups in, in categories if you want products in one section and not in another that's just a matter of organize, organizing your products so that's wholesale pricing that's our business to business model um, there's a, a lot of things there to kind of work through workflow wise uh, but we have the tools in here to help you if you have any questions, again, let us know, email us, uh, or check out our documentation. Thanks.